Okay, we have Sonia here. Uh, Sonia was talking to me a little bit about some hamstring issues she was having while we were filming our hamstring cupping video. So as you can clearly see, Sonia is able to keep her feet together and touch her palms to the floor. However, as a former dancer, uh, she has always had trouble with one move, which she will demonstrate as she in just a second here. So she is able to bring her knee, knee up to 90 degrees about and then straighten her leg out, graceful. And she's able to do that on the other leg as well. But anything past 90 degrees is where she has trouble. Mm-hmm. So for Sonia, we would want to work on increased flexibility despite the fact that it's she's technically functioning within normal limits. All right, so we brought Sonia to the table uh, after we took a look at her hamstring flexibility and those dancing positions she was looking at. Uh, commonly, if we're looking at hamstring issues, I'll look to the glutes to uh, look for stability issues or strength issues. So uh, if she raises this leg straight up off the table, I'm going to push down. She's going to try and resist. She's got good strength there. If she bends the knee and then she tries to raise the leg off the table again and I push down, kind of, there it is, better strength on that side. So we'll repeat on this side, right leg comes straight off. I'm going to push down, shoo, bit of an issue. She bends the knee, she raises it off the table and we push and she's actually got better strength there than the first go around. So um, we had done a little treatment prior uh, with the cups. So we'll kind of examine some of the other issues that she might have. Um, with myofascial release, one of the things that we look at is uh, tenderness. So I had already looked and assessed through the left cheek a little bit. Um, we're going to look at the right side next. So for her, tender there, or is that okay? Uh, a little bit tender, not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, tender. Tender. So I've got strong thumbs. So Ooh. tender. Yes. All righty. And what we're going to try is we're going to work with the functions of the hip. If you s not too bad, or is that okay? It's okay. It's not great. Okay. Does that does it get more tender as you rotate in? Mm -mm. Not so much. Does that externally rotate? As you externally rotate. It does get a little worse. It does get a little worse, she says. So we'll let her continue this for a little bit. There you go. So what I can see and what I can feel is that. As we continue, her range of motion is increasing overall. Um, we'll take a look at the left side in just a second. We're just getting the, uh, the uh, biomechanics of my posture. We're doing the bad one first for me. And then I'll sit down and we'll treat the left side. <laughs> All right, how's that doing, Sonia? It's is that... okay. It's, yeah, it's feeling better. It's feeling better, she says. And it looks like overall the range of motion is much more comfortable, it's much more free. Is this squeaky good? Like, it, yeah. Okay, is it, can you pick that up or is it picking? We'll find out. Alright, so we switch thumbs. Is that tender there? Um, not so bad. Not so bad, she says. Maybe I'm just not in the right spot. Oh, right there. <laughs> That's the spot. Alrighty, same thing. She's going to bend the oh, knee, yeah. she's going to twirl in and out. Whoa. Yeah, that's better. So some of these are quick, some of these are a little slower. We had done a little treatment on this side prior to filming, so I'm not surprised that it relieved that much faster. Yeah. That feels very that feels very smooth underneath my fingertips now. It doesn't feel janky. I'm sure there's a better term, but we're going with janky. All right, does that feel pretty easy yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to keep going across the top of the buttock. Ah, uh, woo! Okay. Tender! All right. So, with the mask, it's hard to see the grimace, so she's <laughs> she's crying uncle in whatever language that she's been possessed by. <laughs> Let's go and bend the knee and twist in and out.
So Sonia had told me that it's mainly been her left side that's been the issue with that uh, ballet move. Right side, because I'm not a surgeon. <laughs> this is why I don't cut people. I just, I just treat them afterwards. Um, so this has been the more difficult side for her through her dancing career. So we'll just explore and see what else we've got going on. How's that feeling now? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Oop, that's that's bone. <laughs> There's a bone. Okay. Ow. Okay, another good spot there. Wow. Ah, mm -hmm. Can't go as far. Mm-hmm. Which muscle is that? It is at least it's it's, it's gonna be me. it's um that is one of the contentious issues with manual therapy. It's kind of hard to know exactly which muscle I'm on because there are so many within this area. What I can determine is that it is one of her external rotators, which again, there are many of. Um, if, you know, if Sonia was a 400, 300 pound linebacker, right? Maybe I'm more on a, on a more superficial muscle than deep. She's more petite, so I may be getting both the superficial, kind of intermediate, and deep muscles, depending upon my pressure. And it seems, if anything, that internal rotation is a little worse than external for you right now. Mm, at the end range, it's still external. Okay. So, Sonia also being, well, one, dancers know their bodies very, very well. And that she's also a physical therapist assistant. She, she speaks my language. She makes my job very easy. I don't do my homework. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> That's why I've stopped giving it. How's that? Much better. Much better. All right. So go and relax. So we're All right. So. <laughs> Poor hair salon people. Alright, go ahead and bend the knee again. Last few reps. Now if I really wanted to torture her, I'd make her do hip extension with this, but that that would just be cruel. With that? Yeah. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, it's painful. That's why we're sticking with just internal external <laughs> rotation. It's a little I mean. It's definitely releasing. Mm-hmm. So with the masks, especially since I can't see the faces, it's, it is kind of hard to see like the grimace relax. So one of the biggest cues I have right now is breathing. When I hear that, that relaxation, that return to normal breathing, she's snoring for me now, right? This is relax, very relaxing for her. How's that? Pretty easy. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Go ahead and relax the leg again. So we're just going to explore the whole glute again. Ooh. So apparently her whole glute is just a massive. Ow. So that might be on her. Again, she's so petite. That may be more bone than that muscle. Feels like that feels like ligament, she says. <laughs> so good. All right, so we retest her strength. Straight leg raise. Hold it. Great. Bend the knee. Tap the heel to the ceiling. Hold it much better like i'm straining to try and push her down and i can't so we'll go back to this side straight leg raise hold it <laughs> bend the knee tap the heel to the ceiling hold it so now i would say that these are even um this side might have felt a little weaker and now these both feel even we'll do a little follow-up shot comparing those two movements that she attempted earlier um hamstring tightness Constantly, but... Constantly, she says. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Worse down that way. Oh, it feels crunchier going down, you mean.
like those little mm -hmm. bubbles. Mm -hmm. Is there one spot that's like more tender than the others? Oh, mm -hmm. just tight. It's always like a rope. So, which thing are you curious about? Mm, don't feel great either. <laughs> So. Good. Ooh. Hey, Paul. So this is where we can talk about kind of that fascial theory that's work that is kind of popular right now that maybe the top of her calf muscles or tendons blend with the fascia of the distal hamstring. Yeah. And that's where Maybe it's not a hamstring issue, but a calf issue that's presenting as a hamstring issue, which uh, to me is kind of the favorite part of physical therapy of, of breaking down the puzzle, figuring out the puzzle, that sometimes all, everything comes together with just one piece. And again, being a dancer, she's got high arches, um, that maybe the overuse of her calf could have led to some of the issues in the hamstring. Um, this isn't potentially something that we figure out on the first visit. It may take a few visits to figure this out. But again, that is just the fun of my job. How's that trying to miss? Pretty good. Pretty good. Ugh. I really want to move my knees off the thing. Yep, ah. yep. go ahead and lift. Yeah. Back down. Yeah. Uh. Am I still in? I think we're okay. Oh, I'm better. Alrighty. So. Can everybody lay with their knees flat on the table like that? It's not like painful for people? Mm -hmm. I don't oh. think so. That's incredibly painful for me. What do we got there? It's that, um. That's weird. It's one of the, um. <laughs> one of the hamstrings. Right. Could be. So when we use sustained pressure to treat uh, muscles or anything within the area, there are some things that we look out for. Uh, and having a good understanding of the human anatomy is important. There is an artery in the back of her knee. So if I were to start feeling a pulse mm -hmm. while I'm treating back here, I would want to get off of it immediately. That is not somewhere I want to be. I'm not feeling a pulse and she is still very much alive. So we're, we're in a good spot. kind of melting away on you. Mm -hmm. I can't always feel it, but people who stay well hydrated and stay at a healthy body weight, I can feel the muscles kind of melt away as they relax. So, so I think it's both of those things. Fairly dehydrated. You're more hydrated than most of my patients. Is that pretty easy now? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't hurt. Woo, it hurt when you let go. Okay. Isn't that wild? I feel like I would stretch it and massage it out before class and shows, but always. I think it's because of the shape of my feet. Fun fact. Just having high arches doesn't it doesn't come from dance. Mm. It's advantageous, you know, to have high arches if you decide to pursue dance. You know. But that's coming from genetics. That's very cool. Cupping can be very uh, intense.
<laughs> Oof. Yep. Bang. Yep. These are tough. All right. Woo! Wow. Does that feel tight? Oh yeah. Okay. Like. I had like to, pretty tight. I had to kind of test your other side. I'm able to slide. Yeah, I know. The know, outside is not no so bad. No problem, right? I know. It's as soon as I come up through <laughs> yep. here. Yeah. And then. <laughs> I know. No. So we could sit here and beat her up all day. Uh, but what we're going to do is, well, she didn't get like this in a day. She's going to need a little time to recover as well. So what we can at least do is uh reassess her mobility after treatment to see if is this the right path or not um like i said sometimes it's a puzzle and sometimes you think you found the right piece but sometimes you also need to step back and reassess after a day or two so we'll be right back with the follow-up <laughs> Alrighty, so here's our follow-up after the treatment. So we'll have Sanya um, demonstrate the moves again, and we'll just see how she feels. So there's about the 90-degree position. It feels easier, even if it doesn't look any better. Mm -hmm. So, I am not a dancer. I will never... Uh, be able to tell you exactly what Sonia is looking for, but this is where Whether you're a patient or a friend that I'm working with that I rely on what you can tell me About your symptoms so that I can plan for your next visit Stay safe folks <laughs>